Okay, now, talking about your Newton's uh, second law, the next thing, guys, that you will learn over here in the same topic, in the same subtopic, sorry, you will learn about balanced and unbalanced forces. Okay, now, for your balanced and unbalanced force, guys, uh, let me talk about balanced force first. Uh, let us take over here a person. Okay, let's take my muscle. My mass is 95 kilograms, but I like my mass over here to be 80 kilograms over here. It's much more of a softer number over here to use. Now, over here, the mass, 80 kilograms, guys. Eh? If you are going to label the forces that is acting on my body over here, your mass, technically, if we change it over here to weight. Now, if I'm changing it to weight, it means that there is 8. 100 newtons of force acting downwards over here guys now if you're wondering over here how from 80 kilogram it becomes 800 hopefully over here you remember the formula uh, over here your weight w over here equals to mg all right guys and your m over here is 80 kilograms your G over here is 10 kilogram and 10 is over here because of gravity or oh, gravitational, uh, the, what shall we say, a gravitational force. And when you times both over here, you get 800 newtons. All right. Now, so 80 kilogram is 800 newtons moving downwards. Now, to balance this 800 newtons, I must have another force in the opposite direction. Okay. Now. This force in the opposite direction over here is what we call over here our reaction force. Now, some over here call it normal reaction. Some over here call it reaction force. I'm just going to call it over here reaction force because it's a reaction towards my weight that I have over here. All right, guys. Now, this is what we call over here a balanced force. That means... 800 newtons downwards and my reaction force guys i'm not done with this the reaction force the value is also 800 newtons now if you take 800 newtons over here and you plus with this negative 800 newtons over here now you will get over here a net force which is equals to zero newtons now this is over here what we call a balanced force now let's just say i'm going to give you another example over here which talks about unbalanced force now for unbalanced force over here students uh, let me explain over here let's just say over here you have uh, an aircraft over here all right now the aircraft over here let me just uh, change my uh, board first uh. okay now for your unbalanced force Let's take one example. Huh? Now, let's just take over here a car. Now, forgive my drawing, guys. I know it's not very beautiful, but hopefully over here you understand the concept. Now, let's just take over here a car. And if you notice, the movement of the car in front is what we over here label as thrust okay and basically the back force that you have over here is what we call friction and friction can be due to many causes over here such as air resistance so we're going to put friction over there all right now over here the thing that pulls the car downwards okay now, this is over here, what we call weight, all right? And the force that basically pushes the car up, this is over here, your normal reaction or your reaction force. Now, it becomes unbalanced, my dear students, if, for an example, my thrust is more than my friction. For an example, guys, uh, if the car is accelerating, if the car is accelerating, accelerating means that the thrust is more than friction. When the thrust is more than friction, that's where it becomes unbalanced. Okay? 
Now, over here, the car obviously cannot fly, like guys. So I cannot say that the reaction force is higher. But for this one over here on the road, if the car is accelerating, that is what we call unbalanced force. Now, give you another one over here of, a, of an airplane over here. Now, let's just draw an airplane for you. If you look over here, Okay, now, they are, again, four forces acting over here on your aeroplane. Now, the force going down, again, guys, your W. Now, just to let you know, your W over here represents weight, uh, guys. Huh? Now, and the force over here moving up, this is over here what we call lift. Okay, now, the force over here moving backwards, now, that is what we call drag. Okay, this is friction due to the road, huh? This is over here drag, but both over here, this is due to the road. This one is over here due to the uh, air resistance. Even this can be also due to the air resistance, but mostly due to the road. Now, and you have over here your plane moving in front, which you over here label it as thrust. Okay, now for this guys, uh, let me explain. If, let's just say, the plane is moving at constant velocity. Okay, that means the plane over here is moving at constant velocity. Now, for both objects, actually, if it's moving at constant velocity, we say that it is balanced. And let me just write it down for you guys huh, so that you don't forget. Again, huh, if it's over here, constant velocity. So, constant velocity over here means that it is balanced. Okay? But if, for an example, the thrust is more than the drag. That means the plane is over here accelerating. That means it is under the category of unbalanced force. Now, there is something very important that you need to understand, guys. Huh? What does it mean over here by balanced force? Balanced over here means that lift equals to weight. Drag equals to thrust. That is what you call balanced over here. That means constant velocity is balanced, isn't it? Up equals to down. Left over here equals to right. It's the same thing over here with the car. If the car is over here, we say balanced. That means the thrust equals to friction. The weight over here equals to the reaction force. But both, as you know, they can accelerate. So if the car accelerates, unbalanced. If the plane accelerates, unbalanced. All right. So this is to explain over here unbalanced force. An unbalanced force in this case is due to the acceleration. Or in this plane category over here, if it lifts over here, up and down becomes unbalanced. All right, guys. Now I'm going to give you a few examples uh, just to see whether you can actually get the idea or not. Okay. Now, guys, these are two simple examples over here, which uh, explains to you about the concept of balance and uh, unbalanced force. Now, let's look at the first one. Eh? Now, you can see over here that this is a rocket. Okay. And the mass of the rocket over here is 300 kilograms. Now, I am letting you know that the thrust of the rocket over here moving upwards is 5,000 newtons. Okay, guys. Now, 300 kilograms over here, that means the weight over here should be 3,000 newtons. Now, first, remember Newton's second law. Do not forget F equals to MA. Now, what happens over here is your net force okay f over here my dear students uh, f over here refers to your net over here force now your net force in this case over here is the thrust upwards is 5000 and your weight going downwards is 3000 over here so technically over here if i'm asking you what is your net force that means uh, if you look at this question uh, very simple okay 5000 is going up all right, guys, and 3000 is basically going down. Okay, 3000 is because of the weight of your rocket. Okay, so technically over here, if you take 5000 and you minus 3000, that is over here what you call over here your F or your net force. That means, guys, if it goes like for an example, 5000 and 3000, basically the rocket over here, obviously 5000 is more, isn't it? So because 5000 is more over here, your rocket over here goes up. But if I ask you what's your net force over here, you take 5,000 and you minus over here 
3000 so that is over here your net force now let me just take another example and uh, explain to you guys huh? now let's just say over here this marker pen okay if you don't understand this i'll use the marker pen to explain to you now this marker pen over here is moving in front with a force of let's just say 10 newtons now there's a friction and the friction at the back is 2 newtons so if i'm asking you now listen again huh? the marker pen is moving with 10 newtons friction over here is 2 newtons so if i'm asking you what is the net force you tell me sir 10 minus 2 which is over here 8 and your net force is 8 newtons but it's moving over here towards your right it's the same thing guys only thing this one is up and down all right this one is left and right isn't it this one is up and down up and down over here means your rocket over here is going up 5000 and the weight down is 3000 so if i'm asking you what is the net force you tell 5000 minus 3000 over here and you get 2000 so your net force over here f equals to ma 5000 minus 3000 you get 2000 newtons equals to your mass over here 300 and you want to find over here your a so your a over here is given to you as 2000 divide over here 300 and you will get six point over here i'm using correctable to two decimal points like guys are 6.67 m s negative 2 all right now let's go to the second question now for this second question over here if you notice you have over here the mass of the car given to you 1200 kilogram over here okay and you have the acceleration of the car which is 2 ms negative 2 all right now if friction on the car is 750 newtons over here find the engine thrust so they want us to over here to find what is the engine thrust now let us display the forces for the car guys eh? now basically over here the force moving in front is what over here you call thrust and the friction moving backwards is given to you as 750 newtons all right guys mass of the car that means the force over here going downwards now mass is 1200 kilograms guys so remember if you want to find the weight 1200 kilograms you darab dengan 10 so you will get over here 12000 newtons okay and obviously over here you will have another force which is lift over here you just call it over here your normal or your reaction force f r over here don't worry about lift call it over here your reaction force okay now how do we solve this question over here guys now first i want you to understand your formula all right you need to understand over here that your car is moving forward okay because the friction is 750 now if your car is moving forward over here guys huh? you use f equals to ma guys huh? okay, i'm going to just divide this so that you can actually see it clearly over here okay now first you're going to use f equals to ma all right now at the same time you need to understand over here that your movement of the car in front which is your thrust i'm going to call it t okay because guys thrust and friction uh, no matter what the car is still moving over here to the right that means your thrust is higher than friction that means thrust minus 750 minus 750 so that is your net force remember like the pen example i took for you this now same thing your car over here is moving towards your right and thrust is higher than 750 so your net force is thrust minus 750 okay equals to your mass and what's your mass over here given to you 1200 kilogram and your acceleration is given to you as 2 so over here what happens is to find over here your t okay now let me just carry the board over here a little bit higher all right so your t over here technically will be 1200 times over here with 2 and over here you have to your times this 750 go to the other side you just plus 750 so your answer over here that you will get is 3150 newtons two simple example over here to prove to you on the concept of balance and unbalanced forces okay guys thank you